Hi guys, last time I left you, we sat here and, uh, well, I sat here, not you. You sat and watched. I sat here and made a uh, floppy hat for the character. Um, I'm going to go up here and save. And now I think we need to add some color for her. So, and I might use the same colors as it's on the figurine. So let's do this. Let's, uh, Go scroll down here to materials right here and add a new. Let's start with the uh, clothes. Alright, I want to call this clothing. Okay. And we can scroll down here. Let's get a picker. And I like that kind of blue. So. We're going to hit L over her shorts and let's assign that. Where is it? Go up here to assign. And we need to be in look dev mode to be able to see. Oh my goodness, it put everything on her. <laughs> Let me hit control I. Uh, can I do shift L? and deselect the eyes and the hat and the flower and all right no uh, diesel okay wait a minute let's uh l her body All right, and add a new material. New. Call it body. Well, I spelled that with a capital O. We don't need that. Call it body. And we'll, let me close this up just a little bit. I can still see the colors. And we'll grab her and let's choose this color and let's hit assign okay that doesn't really look good does it oh and we don't want the specular I don't want it specular um let me look at this can we make that a bit darker that looks better I like that better. Alright, let's uh, tab into edit mode. Alt A to deselect everything. Let's select her glasses and go up here and we're going to hit the plus for a new and we're going to call it sunglasses. Whoops, I guess I better click on it first, huh? Call it sunglasses. And I'm just going to make these black. So I will still use the color picker and pick that and go up here and hit assign. Hmm. I don't like that. So I'm going to make it dark and hit assign. How come it doesn't look as dark? Oh, it is pretty dark. All right, now her eyes. Um, hmm. I guess what we'll do, and her nose is going to be the same as her. Let's select her nose and let's assign the body to her nose because that's part of her body. And for the eyes. Uh, I was just going to have him black. I think I will and maybe change the sunglasses to some other color. Let's change them. Let's look at this. Let's change them to... 
Let's make them green. And assign it. Okay. And then her eyes, which I want to uh, deselect everything. I want to select her eyes. And her eyes are going to be black. So let's uh, add a new color. And hit eyes. And then go to this and just make them black. And hit assign. There we go. Okay. All right. Hey, why is her nose green? We must have had that selected accidentally. Uh, control or uh, Alt A to deselect everything. Hover over her nose and go back to the body and hit assign. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Now, I want to give her a little bit of a pink mouth in there. So, let me Alt A to deselect everything. And hit uh, Alt. Oh no, I don't want all that. Alt like that. And then just kind of select the inside of her mouth. Let's go to. Oh. Uh, Wireframe, see if I have everybody selected. Whoops, not you. Looks like I have everybody selected, so let's go back to look dev. We'll add a color. We'll call it mouth. Okay, and I just want it to be a little on the pinkish side. Um, kind of like that. We'll hit assign. See what that looks like. Okay. I'm liking that so far. Now let's change your hat. Um, go into edit mode, Alt A to deselect everything. We're gonna make this this part. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna change this part and these parts a different color. Whoops, we gotta select those. Okay, and we're going to add and do new and just call this hat. And let's find a color for her hat. How about kind of like that? Kind of dark? Let's hit assign and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. I like that. Very simple game character. Maybe that's what I'll call the series. I don't know. Oh, I see there's uh, some... Let's go into edit mode. Deselect everything. Oh, I see this ring up here. I hit Alt. No, can't select it. Did I get it? Yeah, I think I got it. And let's assign the hat to that. There we go. Okay. Now you can see up here where it bleeds off. So let's add a loop around here. Let's pull that down so it's not bleeding onto it. Let's do the same with this here. Pull that up. There. That way it's not bleeding onto it. Now for the flower, let's uh, Alt A to D, make sure everything's deselected. What is this? Hit edge mode. Is that her ear? Hit Control L or just hit L to link that. Yeah, that's her ear. I just moved it over so her ear won't show through. 
There we go. Okay. Now, I'll go back, hit Alt A to deselect everything. I'm going to go in here, circle select her flower, and expand that out. Wait. Uh oh. Let's go to face mode. Circle select everything. Like that. Go one more out. One more. Um, what color is her flower? No, I don't want that color. How about we'll make the black eyed Susan? Let's put the eye color on that and then. Oh, that selected everything. I figured it would. Alright, so let's select uh, the flowers. I think that's got everything. We'll add a color. New. Say flower petals. Flower petals. And what kind of color do we want to make our flower? said black-eyed Susan, so let's make this a bright yellow. Let's assign that. Did we not select the, uh... Let's see what we got here. Now why is it like that? <laughs> Actually, that's kind of cool. Um... I might leave it like that. Nah. All right. <laughs> All right. I think what we need to do is see what happens if we add an edge loop out here. Control R. Two. And do we need to select these faces? and assign the flower color, flower petals, assign. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And I guess let's uh, control A to hide everything. This looks kind of weird right there. Why is that looking odd? Let me hit assign and see what it does. No, it doesn't do anything. Let's hit, let me assign. No, it doesn't do anything either. i um, trying to figure out why that blue is bleeding and what is that edge? What is this? What is that? And it's right here too. Oh, it's part of the hat. Oh, A, let's select the flower. Oh, it's already joined. Um P by selection. We'll select the flower, go into edit mode, and take a look at it here. Go into edit mode. Do I need to add another edge here? That's why we added that edge earlier. Okay, well, she's pretty low poly, so we'll just go ahead and add these uh, edges to s squish that color down. Okay. And one here. We'll squish it down. Now I still see some blue in there. I'll go to face mode and select select these. Can I assign? No. Oh, it's that outside edge. 
what do I have selected? Flower petals assign. Oh boy, I don't want that. <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, let me go in. Let's grab this edge. And can we. No. Oh, I have proportional editing on, that's why. Pull that out just a little bit. I'm trying to figure out why we're getting the blue in here. Do we need another edge loop down here? Oh, that's not making any difference. Let's not do that. You know, I don't think it's going to uh I don't think it's going to matter because we're going to be so far away from her, you're not even going to be that close to the hat at any point. So, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah. So in the next video, we will uh, attempt the rigging and see how that goes. So join me for the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.